We do a lot of commentary on the news here at The Rebel, but sometimes we break some hard news too, like right now. We sent in a simple one-line access to information request to Transport Canada, asking for, quote, copies of any statistics on the revocation of any security clearances or passes for airport personnel broken down by airport and year since January 1st, 2010. And the government answered, sort of. Here's what they sent us. It's a chart by year showing the number of airport staff who were refused or canceled because of adverse information, as in they found something dangerous about someone. The refusal number is interesting. It's growing fast. In 2010, 31 people were refused security clearance by Transport Canada. By 2014, that had more than doubled to 70. And last year, the year of the Islamic State, the number of refusals skyrocketed to 110. In other words, a couple of times a week, every week, someone applies for security clearance at a Canadian airport and is refused because there is something about them that is, quote, adverse. So they're trying to get into our airports and two a week are caught. How many aren't caught? Even more terrifying is the next column, cancellation. Again, in 2010, 11 people across Canadian airports who had airport security clearance had that clearance canceled, revoked. Something was found out about them that was so serious, they were essentially fired for security reasons. Again, over the years, that doubled and tripled. And by last year, the year of the Islamic State, it had quadrupled 42 people who had security clearance last year had that clearance stripped away from them because of information that came forward after they were hired that made them a threat of some sort. 42. Well, what's the likelihood that they got every single threat as opposed to just getting a lot of them but missing one or two? So we know that 42 people last year had managed to get through security clearance once and then later were flagged. So if the system had at least 42 errors the first go around, why should we assume it has no errors in the second vetting? Shouldn't we assume that there are still some who beat the system? This is scary, don't you think? These are people with access to airplanes, to cargo holds, to secure areas. They have keys to locked doors and gates. It just takes one to let in any number of criminals or terrorists how do you feel about this? Now, you'll notice that Transport Canada didn't answer one of our questions. Which airports had these security problems? So we've pressed them for an answer on that. I mean, aren't you curious? Was it all one airport? Was it spread out? Was it Ottawa, Montreal, Edmonton, Calgary? I'd like to know. So we're appealing their microscopic disclosure. And we're also asking the obvious follow-up question. What were these security clearances canceled for? Was it a terrorism-related risk? Or was it just regular criminality, common theft, maybe? People stealing suitcases or carry-ons from passengers? I don't know. We'll let you know when we know. But until then, just think that last year, 152 people who were either working at airports or applying to work there were blocked or fired for being security risks. And that's a massive jump from the year before. Hey, do you think Justin Trudeau takes security seriously? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.